Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a cash envelope stuffing for the paycheck that I received on April 27th, 2023 using the printable version of the Budget by Paycheck workbook from The Budget Mom. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Okay, so we are all zoomed into my cash envelope breakdown. I do have my bills all listed on the side here, but because I'm so zoomed in, you can't see hundreds up top and fives and singles down below, but they are there. Just a word before we start, my neighbor's dog is barking outside. I'm hoping that you cannot hear it in this video, but if you can, I apologize for that. This is kind of the only time I have to film this, so I'm going with it. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is my emergency fund. If you watch my last cash envelope stuffing, then you'll know that I reached a thousand dollars in my emergency fund uh, cash envelope. And so I did take that money and deposit it into my um, emergency fund checking account that I have at my bank. I printed out this new envelope. Uh, this is from The Budget Mom. It's a free resource that she has. I think she has it in her free resource library. If she doesn't, it's because it came in an email. Um, I would definitely join her uh, email list. She does send out a newsletter every week with a freebie in it. Um, with this last paycheck, I was able to put $56 into this emergency fund, and that $56 came from unused cash from my variable expenses at the end of my last pay period. So we're going to count this up and make sure we have $56. 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we do have the full $56 here, which is great. Next, we're going to be talking about my variable expense cash envelopes, and I do have them here. <laughs> I did print accidentally out a sinking fund envelope for gas, but that's okay. Um, we're going to start with my eating out envelope. This is going to be getting $100, but I'm taking it out in specific denomination so that I can pull from this envelope later for my 52 week challenge. So we're doing that $100 in a $50 bill, in a $20 bill in two tens and two fives okay so 50 70 80 90 95 100 and i did update my envelope so you'll see that deposit as well as the withdrawals for different challenges next we have my gas envelope and I did, um, I do have some changes from this cash envelope breakdown. Um, I did actually have to go and get gas after I went to the bank. So I would normally be taking out $75 in a 50, 20, and a five, but I use that 50 for gas. So I'm gonna take a 20 and a five out. And then I'm gonna add to it the change from getting gas, which I have here aside, it's $11. So let's count that up and see what we have. 20, 25, 30, 35, $36. Now I did put on here my deposit as well as taking a five out, out for my $5 challenge. But as you can see, I now have $15 in five. So I will have to correct that on my tracker and then also put in that I uh, got $39 worth of gas. Lastly, for my variable expenses, we have my miscellaneous envelope. This gets $175, but again, I'm doing denominations to allow for me to take out for my 52-week challenge. So we're doing that in a $100 bill, two 20s. It's my last two 20s, actually. Uh, two 10s. It's my last two 10s. <laughs> two 5s and five singles one two three four five they gave me the worst singles ever at the bank today unfortunately let's see if i could get all my bills yeah we can get all of our bills here and on the side and then let's count this up to make sure this is 175 120 40 50 60 65 70 71 2 3 4 175 so we do have 175 in here. And again, I did update the envelope on the back. 
Next, we're going to be getting into my sinking funds, which there are two of. <laughs> so basically, I have my giving and my travel sinking funds here. These are both rolling sinking funds, meaning they don't have a monetary goal, which is why the trackers on the front have months on them and not dollar values. Um, I basically add money to these sinking funds every time I get paid, no matter what. I have been toying with the idea of upping what I put in travel because I do want to bulk this up for a Europe trip. Um, I've also been toying with the idea of just starting a house emergency fund, even though I haven't purchased one yet. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm still thinking about that. Um, but we're going to be taking $50 um, and we're going to be putting $50 into this envelope in a $50 bill, which is going to bring us to $2,032 in here, which is pretty bananas. So let's count that up. 2032 is what we want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 50, 2000, 20, 20, 20, 30, 20, 31, 20, 32. I'm so excited to have hit that $2,000 mark. Now I am about to go away for a weekend and I am pulling money out of here for the hotel. So it will be under $2,000 soon, but it's still pretty cool to have reached that. Next we have giving and I'm going to be doing a $50 bill for this one as well. And again, I'm just contributing to this. I, ha I should have $300 in here. And whenever I feel compelled to donate to a charity, I will do that. So we have one, two, two fifty-three. Now the last envelope we're gonna stuff is going to be, oh no, yeah. Well, first let's pull out my rent actually because it's the end of the month. I have my May rent due. I'm gonna do that in three hundreds and six fifties. So those are the three hundreds and then six fifties. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's my last of the fifties. So let's count this up, make sure this is 600. One, two, three, 354, 455, 556. So I'm gonna put that aside. Now we're gonna get to the last of my envelopes, which is gonna be my side hustle envelope. I did make $8 in, uh, from Etsy. And so I'm adding it to this. I'm doing that in a five and three singles. So that should be the last of my small bills. Five six, seven, eight. These ones are terrible. If I add that to what I have in this envelope, we should have 536. So let's add these bills in and then count everything up together. 536 is what we're looking for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 536. Perfect. I'm actually kind of toying with getting a different um, hookup for my phone. I record my videos on my phone and the tripod that I have is not very stable. So I've been toying with the idea of getting a new one. So that might be the next purchase I make from that envelope. Now we do have some cash here and this Jill's graduation, my sister's graduating from school. This was not on my cash envelope breakdown when I did my budget with me. I kind of forgot about it. Um, I'm giving her a graduation gift of $500 and I have that here in $100 bills. So instead of putting $1,500 towards my house, I am actually putting $1,000 for this pay period and then the other $500 is the gift. So that's actually going to be it for my cash envelope stuffing portion of this video but I do want to zoom on out a little bit and look at some trackers so let's pull out these envelopes that I always have in the front let's go towards the back of my cash envelope or of my budget by paycheck workbook where I have all my trackers so the first one we're going to look at is my 52 week challenge tracker this is available on my Etsy shop which is always linked down below in the description box I'm doing it in reverse this year I do have a regular 52 week challenge tracker as well as this reverse tracker I also have this 52 week challenge envelope this is also available on my Etsy shop I sell them separately that way if you like one and not the other you don't have to you know buy both um I do contribute to my 52 week challenge two weeks at a time because I get paid bi-weekly. So with this paycheck, we're doing week 17 and 18, which is $36 and $35. So I'm going to check those off. 
and I'm pulling them from two separate cash envelopes. So let's look at my variable expense cash envelopes. Actually, I dropped one of them. Okay, here it is. <laughs> so for eating out, I'm taking out $35. So let's do that. 20, 30, 35. So I'm gonna have 55 in this envelope. Wait. No, I'm not. That's a lie. Yeah, I'm gonna have 65. <laughs> Sorry, I'm confusing myself. Okay, so we'll put that aside. We're gonna come back to that envelope. So we have $35 here. Now we need 36 and I'm pulling that from my miscellaneous envelope. I have it written right here. So we're gonna do 20, 30, 35, and then 36. Perfect. So if we add that together, it should be $71, which I did put on this tracker here. So let's let's add let's add these bills together and then count them up and then we'll add it to the total that's in the envelope. So we should have 71. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out all the cash from here, add it all together and then count it up. We should have 783 in this envelope. So let's do small bills first. 783 is what we're looking for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 740, 750, 760, 765, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 783. Perfect. So we do have the full 783 here, which is super exciting. And then um, I'm not pulling anything with this paycheck for any of my 2023 challenges, but I do have my $5 challenge. As you can see, I already filled up my tracker here. I'm pulling three uh, $5 bills out, which is $15, which means we have $14.50 total in my $5 challenge jar. And I'm doing that by pulling a single five from each of these envelopes, because that's what I was assuming I would have left. So we have my five from my miscellaneous envelope, We have my five for my eating out envelope. And then we should have had a $5 bill for my gas envelope, but then I got two additional $5 bills um, when I got gas. So again, I just have to remember to add those to my tracker on the back of this envelope as well as my $5 challenge tracker that I have here. But we're gonna take all of these fives and we're gonna add them to my $5 challenge envelope. So again, this $5 challenge tracker, this $5 challenge envelope, they're both available on my Etsy shop. This is just a way for me to try to make my $5 challenge a little bit more interactive this year. So I basically add all of my fives that I come across uh, throughout the month to this envelope and then when I do my monthly um, budget uh, recap I add them into my five dollar challenge container and that's going to be it for the stuffing we're officially done with every bit of stuffing we need to do I hope you all enjoyed this video I'm going to be thinking over the next two weeks until my next paycheck about what I want to do from a sinking funds perspective if I want to kind of up what I'm putting in my travel sinking fund if I want to start any other sinking funds right now we're going to see how it goes I'm definitely going to make that a priority in terms of what I'm thinking about with regards to my budget over the next two weeks if you have any questions or comments about how I budget or how I use the budget by paycheck workbook from the budget mom please don't hesitate to put them down below and as always everyone please be safe bye bye